Kicker CXA amps are not only reliable and powerful, they are also priced extremely well. There are six amplifiers available in this lineup. Four monoblock amps, an AB class four channel, and a five channel that uses both AB and D class technology. So if you're looking for an app that sounds excellent at a great value, don't go anywhere because we're about to explore the Kicker CXA amplifier line. Hey, it's Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews, tests, and gives detailed installation tutorials on all the current and latest aftermarket auto accessories like car audio, suspension, performance, and more because we don't drive stock. And if you're like us, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Okay, do it now. The button's literally right there. During this video, we'll be going over some of the tangible and intangible things that this line has to offer, including specs, features, and also our own experiences with these amps. So let's get this thing started and go over what amps they have available and in which situations these amps would be ideal. Let's start off with the four mono black amplifiers. The Kicker CXA 400.1. This is 400 watts RMS at one ohm. The CXA 800.1, which is 800 watts RMS at one ohm. The CXA 1200.1, which is 1200 watts at one ohm. And finally, the CXA 1800.1, and you guessed it, it's 1800 watts at one ohm. All of these are D-class amps. Time for Breaker's Breakdown. Subject, amp classes. So in the car audio world, there are two popular types of amps, AB and D-class. But let's take one step back before we explain AB-class, starting with A-class. Now, A-class amps are high fidelity and cleaner sounding, but not practical for car audio because their transistor outputs are always receiving power, which creates a lot of heat. And B-class amps don't get as hot because the transistors only conduct when it sees the input signal instead of always being on. But the sound quality is not as good as the A-class. So a B-class combines the best of both worlds to create a good sounding app that doesn't create as much heat by enabling current to always be flowing through the output transistors and only allowing a much lower level of electricity when they aren't in use. Now D-Class takes this a step further because it will actually switch the transistor back and forth from receiving power and being on to receiving no power and being off. This makes the app run much cooler and will allow for more power to be produced. So manufacturers are able to produce apps that produce lots of power into small chassis for less money than AB class apps. But the downside is the sound quality will be compromised because of the switching and when D class apps first hit the car audio market, they were only made for bass because in the lower frequency range, you don't need high fidelity but for mids and highs, the signal was not clean enough. Now technology has improved over the years and manufacturers currently produce apps that can run your interior speakers and some wouldn't even notice the difference between a D-class and an AB-class app. Okay, I hope that explains it, but before we get back into it, which apps are you running in your car? Or which are you considering? Okay, leave that in the comment section below. So these D-class mono apps have a low pass variable 12 dB crossover and frequency range is between 50 Hertz and 200 Hertz. There is a subsonic filter that cuts off at 25 Hertz. Now really quick, a subsonic filter is a high pass filter that cuts off frequencies in this case at 25 Hertz at a 24 dB slope, which is going to be steeper than your 12 dB as you can see here in the chart. Now the reason you would want to cut out these lower frequencies is because you cannot hear them and you waste power on these frequencies. So the theory behind selecting the subsonic filter is it will increase the power going to the subs and will not be wasted on unaudible frequencies. Okay, moving on. Now all the amps in this line will accept both low level and high level signals. For high level, you can either use a cable that looks like this, or you can cut the end of an RCA and solder them together. Also, all these amps have a feature called DC offset, which allows the amplifier to turn on by detecting through the input. So if you're running your stock head unit, you don't need to find an accessory wire to turn on the amp. So these amps all have a 40 Hertz bass boost that they call 
kick EQ and is variable up to 6 dB. And the remote bass knob is sold separately, model number CXRC. These amps are solid and put out the power they're rated at. Each amp even comes with its own power certificate that certifies the actual power output that that individual amp puts out at one ohms with 14.4 volts. So you know you're gonna get what you pay for in these amps. Now let's talk about the four channel amp, model number CXA360.4. Now this amplifier is 65 watts times four into four ohms, 90 watts times four into two ohms, and if you bridge the amp, it can do 180 watts times two into four ohms. This amp also has low and high level inputs. Same rules apply as the mono block amps. As far as crossovers, it has both high and low pass filters in both the front and rear variable from 50 hertz to 200 hertz at 12 dB. And again, the remote bass knob is sold separately as well. This amp currently retails for about $230 and for the money, a good all around amplifier. Good sound quality and on par for what you would expect for an amplifier at this level. And if you're running a good set of speakers that can handle 65 watts each, you'll be in good shape. It is a little long though, and this amplifier measures out to about 12 and 7 eighths. So if you're gonna put it underneath the front seat, you may have to squeeze that in. And finally, the CXA 600.5, which is a five channel hybrid. AB on the four channel and D class on the fifth channel. The power output is the same as the four channel, which is 65 watts times four into four ohms, 90 watts times four into two ohms. Frequency range on this part of the amplifier is 10 Hertz up to 20,000 Hertz. Now the fifth channel on this amplifier is rated at 150 watts times one into four ohms. But hold on real quick, you are gonna wanna bridge that down to two ohms to get 300 watts out of this fifth channel. The frequency response on the fifth channel is 25 Hertz up to 200 Hertz. Retail is subject to change, but currently goes for $449. This is designed to run a full system, components in the front, coax in the rear, and maybe a single 10 or 12, even a pair of low powered subwoofers in a vented enclosure. This app is also long, measuring at about 14 and 5 eighths inches. So it's definitely not gonna fit underneath most front seats. So find a spot in the trunk or behind the seat in the truck. Okay, so here are the intangibles. In order to get the most out of these amps, you'll want to tune them correctly. I don't think they're as forgiving as some of the other amplifiers that we sell. On the monoblock amp, pick frequencies 80 hertz or even lower. If you're running either the four or five channel amp and using it to run your interior speakers, make sure your speakers can handle some bass because the crossover only goes up to 200 hertz. And cheaper speakers that can't handle a lot of power and bass will need to be crossover higher or they'll go into distortion at higher volumes. Okay, here's our pros and cons lists. Pros, you get a lot of power from a name brand company for the price. Small footprint on the model block amplifiers and the DC offset, in other words, signal sense turn on. Also, they put out more power than they say they do. Cons, the chassis is a little long on the four and five channel amps. Now keep in mind, the four channel amp is an AB class amp and channels one through four on the five channel are also AB class amplifiers too. So they're not as efficient as D class amps and need a bigger chassis. And finally, remote bass knob not included. If you Google these amplifiers, they have an average of about 4.7 stars, which is pretty impressive. And I'm gonna give these amps four and a quarter stars. It's a good buy, good power, and priced well for a name brand app. Kicker has been a leader in car audio for many, many years and offer customers lots of great products for any budget. And these are a good example of that. For more information on these apps or to purchase them, click the links in the description below and that will take you to each individual product page. Remember, we have flexible financing available, including no credit check. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, and then we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Also, make sure to consider us for all your aftermarket upgrade needs, like car stereo, suspension, performance, and more. Again, my name is Josh, I'm with Breakers Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.